Hi, I'm Lucy from So Essential and I'm here today to show you six ways to style a classic white shirt for autumn. I'll link everything I talk about below and you'll also find a link to our newsletter for a weekly dose of sewing inspiration straight to your inbox. So the pattern I'm using for the white shirt is Simplicity 9707, also comes in a larger size range, 9708. I think it goes up to about a 28, 30, possibly even a 32, but I'll link everything below for you so you can check those size ranges if you want to. Um, and I made it in our Dashwood Pop um, white cotton which is it's described as a quilting cotton but it's not stiff and rough like a quilting cotton it's got a lovely soft handle and I think the name pop is probably because it is a poplin I can't I'm not 100% sure of that but that's what it feels and behaves like to me but if you want full details on the shirt and making it and a review of it that's going to be on the channel too if it's already released I'll link it below if not stay tuned and that will be coming but for now let's just start with the styling options so the first one I want to share with you is the oversized white shirt with a pair of leggings and ankle boots. So I'd call this quiet luxury. There's a lot of this sort of look about at the moment where you can mix your comfy casuals with something a little bit smarter to elevate the look. So it's a really easy, comfortable um, outfit to wear day to day. And then if you just want to elevate the look a little bit further, why not go for one of the other... Uh, key trends this winter which is a check and I saw lots of um, blazers and things being worn with this look as well so um, let's just add that and there you have it you've got that nice sort of put together look I feel pretty smart but actually I'm super super comfy in these lovely leggings so that is look number one so the next easy to wear day wear look is quite a preppy look and that's um, one that I saw was wearing a relatively straight leg light coloured jean, a crew neck lightweight sweater and then I've got some sneakers on with it and again lovely and comfortable and easy to wear, pretty casual but just elevating the look with the white shirt making me feel a little bit smarter and a little bit more put together but something I would quite happily wear to do any of the things that I do day to day whether it's coming to work, going to the shops, picking the kids up from school. My life actually sounds really boring, but I do do some fun stuff sometimes. But I just think this is a lovely, classic, easy to wear look. The next look I've created is with wide leg and darker jeans this time. And we have got some skirts and dresses coming as well. So hang on in there, folks. It's not all going to be trousers um, or leggings. But I've tied the shirt here at the waist to just draw it in there. And then with these high waisted wide leg jeans, um, I just really like that look. If you're not keen on the tied waist, the other alternative, of course, is to simply tuck the shirt in. So just bear with me while I do that. Much easier to do that off camera, but you know, we're kind of uh, keeping it real here. It's so essential. <laughs> so um, yeah, tucking the shirt in, that gives the same sort of look. It draws it in at the waist. You've still got that lovely oversized feel to it, um, but you're just exaggerating a different part of the silhouette in these dark wide leg jeans. And then if I just need an extra layer for warmth, I can just add a classic biker or bomber leather jacket. Quite like a new leather bomber jacket, but I can't justify it because this biker jacket I just wear every single season. Um, but yeah, you've got a nice contemporary look there with those wide leg jeans and the shirt cinched in at the waist, either by tying it or tucking it in. So we've looked at leggings and jeans combos. I thought it'd be nice now to take a look at a skirt. So I've got my uh, leather look skirt on. I'll pop the link to this pattern below. It's a McCall's pattern that I made many years ago. Um, I'll pop that link below. Obviously the link for the shirt pattern and the shirt fabric as well below. But yeah, the leather look skirt with the thick black tights and then I've got ankle boots on, high heeled ankle boots um, with the block heel. So they're nice and comfortable for every day and then I've just tucked the shirt in to create a nice silhouette there um, and then if I wanted to add some extra warmth and another layer to this look I can just add my classic checked blazer again 
and I've got a lovely put together look there, feel really smart in this outfit but again not overdressed, uh, it's comfortable, it's easy to wear every day so that's another great look you can create with this classic white shirt. All the looks so far have been really easy to wear during the day but actually you can dress a white shirt up and make an evening outfit out of it really easily. So here I've got that same leather look skirt on with the white shirt but instead of the thick black tights and the boots I've got bare legs or you can wear flesh coloured tights and I've got a pair of killer brightly coloured uh, strappy heels on just to really elevate the look and give it that evening look and this would be a great outfit to go out with the girls for dinner so I'll just give you a little twirl so you can see the full look but yeah I would definitely feel really comfortable wearing this to go out for dinner with the girls. And finally, the last look, which is a real favourite of mine. It's definitely got preppy vibes. It's definitely got vintage retro vibes as well. Um, it's a dress I made, so I will link the pattern to the dress. Um, and I think we've still got the fabric as well below. It's a flannel fabric that I used for this dress, so it's lovely and warm for the winter, but a really simple, easy 60s shift dress. Um, and then I've just put it over the white shirt. I just think it's such a cute look. Um, reminds me actually another look you could create is if you've got a tank top as well the tank top looks great over white shirts and that's been really fashionable in recent years as well I haven't got one otherwise I would have included that um, so there's even more looks than what I've shared with you but yeah I've got this cute little vintage shift dress that I made on thick black tights and then my riding boots and I just love this preppy look and I think it's so comfortable and easy to wear but it's lovely and warm as well perfect for the office a great sort of everyday workwear outfit and then you know just to add as well the white shirt I would also wear in the summer I'd wear it open over my bikini top and I've made some bright pink shorts and I think that would look lovely. Um, I'd also just wear it as a cover up by the pool. So there is such a lot of mileage in the classic white shirt. There's a reason why it's never gone away. It's always been here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my ideas and tips for styling it. Tell me in the comments which looks your favourite, which one would you go for? And if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time.